Hello, welcome to Con Corner. I'm Tina, and today I'm going to put up the deer fence around my garden. Um, I'm using I'm using this this plastic mesh. Um, this time it's called wildlife netting, but I've also bought it before when it was called Deer X. Um, it's the same thing as bird net, except this comes in in uh, seven foot by hundred foot lengths, and um, I use two uh, rolls of it to go around my garden, which is 60 by 40. Although I'm in town, the deer uh, travel through here. And the secret to this, this little lightweight plastic actually keeps the deer out better, if I use it correctly, uh, than, than a, a solid fence would. The secret to it is they can't see where it ends. Um, so I, I put it over my T-posts and uh, as long as I don't let anything grow up near it where they can get a perspective of how tall it is or and as long as I don't drape it over. If I drape it over at the top, they can see how tall it is and they'll, grow, they'll go through it. Now, I have to mark it so that they know it's there or they'll run through it because they don't see it. Uh, but once I, uh, but I do that by putting a little mylar uh, between the posts but but the deal is is they 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 know then that there's a barrier there but they can't see how tall it goes and so that's uh that's what keeps it going um i ordered this um online from amazon um i have bought it in the past at tractor supply but you know what um right just in time uh, inventory is not just in time for me and so when i went and asked about it at tractor supply this spring they were they didn't know what I was talking about and they said well we get a truck every day maybe they'll send a display in a couple of weeks that's not good enough so I just went through my favorite bloggers uh, link to Amazon and, um, and and bought it there um, so I find I can usually use it a year or two but even if I buy new every year it's only about fifteen dollars a uh, a roll so for thirty dollars i get good uh, protection for my uh, for my garden um sometime back i bought myself a big old jar of cable ties and uh it works they, they're they're just so handy for so many things so uh, uh just like this you know i'm i'm just it's nice to have them around so i'm glad that i that i bought some so all i'm doing is attaching it I have to leave it. The other thing about this is um, you leave it puddle at the bottom and uh, I've heard multiple reports that it will actually help uh, catch any snakes trying to come into the garden uh, because it puddle, if it puddles up, um, they, they try to go through it and they get tangled up in it. And uh, so I, I leave it puddle so that I can lift it up to mow. Uh, under it because that's where I have run into problems. If I let the weeds grow up into it, um, that's when the deer start getting a sense of, of where it uh, where it is. Uh, but anyway, it's so it's, it, it can be a good snake preventer. I just heard the folks on an American homestead uh, saying that they actually don't like netting because it was catching too many snakes and it was uh, scaring scaring them to go out there and find snakes uh, caught up. So uh, <laughs> so. Uh, um, I'm going to, uh, I, I'm, I like that, uh, that, uh, effect of it. So all I'm going to do is I'll roll it out and I'm going to start here at my little arbor. This is where I have a gate. I don't have a gate, but I just have this little arbor area that I keep open. And the deer don't seem to use that to come through. So I'm just going to roll some of this out. And it comes folded in half. And uh, so I'm just going to attach it to my to my arbor here up at the top. Anything very uh, strong because it's just, as you can see, it's just super lightweight. 
uh, all you're trying to do is, is hold it in place. So you can use you can use string or uh, or bread wrapper ties, long ones. I have done that before. can see it tangles up in everything which is what nets do you know that's the whole point of nets is they catch things um, that's why the deer try to avoid it because it scares them they they're afraid they'll get caught in it and they can't see to see where it is now I uh, I'm tying this all the way down on this a solid structure, but I won't tie it all the way down on these. On these, I'm going to leave room to be able to pick it up to mow under it. So I'm going to I'm going to tie it at the top and at the center, and then um, and you can't waste a lot of space with it if your garden is like mine exactly. <laughs> exactly uh, 200 feet because I only have 100 feet of this and it does not stretch. But if it does break at any time, like a couple of times a deer have run through it and broke it and um, I can just tie it, tie it back together with zip ties. That works, that works really good. So I'm only gonna, gonna attach it about to there <coughs> and uh, And that'll hold it in place <coughs> from the deer. And um, if I had to, if I had a real problem, I could even stretch it out away from the fence like this and anchor it out on the ground. I don't know if you can see. Let me see if I can, if I'm showing you something. Okay, let me, hold on. Let me show you. You can't see it. But I could even pull it away from the fence and anchor it way out here so they would step on it and it would startle them and they would <coughs> and they would avoid it um, so if I <coughs> if I have trouble with them with it just puddled <coughs> like that um, that's what I will do is I will uh, I'll stretch it out and then when I get ready to mow see all I have to do is turn it up like that and see there's the bottom of it for mowing and it gives me plenty of room to get my mower underneath it. All right, I'm going to finish the rest of this, and then I'll be back. Okay, so now you can see my my fencing is up, but it doesn't show. It's not at all visible from the road. It's not even visible from back here. Uh, you can sort of see it if you're looking, but uh, from the road, it, you can't even see it, tell it at all. So the uh, it's not going to offend the neighbors, you know, or make your property look bad to have it up. Um, and you can do a decorative post if you'd rather not have those T-posts up. Um, I have to join it in one place since I use two pieces. And I'm not smart enough every single year to, <laughs> to start my joins at a post. And so I end up having to uh, splice it together in the middle. So I'm probably going to come and trim these off. I'm probably going to come back if I if I get interested that long, and uh, just cutting these extra little strips off here, the the length of it off, and come back and uh, wrap tie these up with uh, uh, with a black cord so that they won't be as so that they won't be visible and that that opening won't uh, appear there. Uh, I think you can see it. I don't want the deer to notice to notice that. Um, but uh, otherwise, um, it's uh, so once you get it up, you got to pull it down, pull it all the way down to the ground. It won't do any good if it's up above. You can kind of see it laying on the ground, but you can't see it when it's up in the air. Um, so this is uh, so I'll. Uh, I'll be back when I start doing that. Thanks a bunch. I appreciate you stopping by and visiting. 
Well, I measured, and uh, <laughs> I guess I spoke wrong when I said they were too short. I guess the Direx brand is, is uh, more generous with their net than this brand is. So this brand appears to be almost exactly 100 feet if you stretch it really, really tight. Um, the, uh, the Direx one has always uh, covered the whole way around for me uh, when I use two rolls of it. Uh, but uh, anyway, this one's good. They didn't short me, so I just wanted to step back in and say that. Uh, they did. Uh, it, it's good stuff. <laughs> Thanks a bunch. Bye. All right, I'm back one more time. <laughs> this is a never-ending video. Um, I actually finished it up. Um, I uh, had some leftover of my uh, the Direx fencing from last year, and so I was able to uh, splice it together uh, with this new. And the new um, that I'm using, the wildlife mesh, seems to be a little bit finer. Um, as you can see, I, th I think you, I don't know if you can see it or not. Let me show you. The, the the squares are a little bit smaller on my new than than the than on the uh, the deer mesh. So uh, that could be a good thing. Um, um, you know, I, I don't know. It's it'll uh, certainly um, um, it seems to be the same quality. So so that's a good thing. So all I did was splice that together. I think you can still see it. Now I've taken um, the deer. They can't see it, so they'll run through it, not knowing it's there. So every year I, I take and I tie a piece of mylar uh, somewhere between the uh, two stakes uh, so that they'll know that there's something there. I have tied this, as you can see, a little bit down from the top um, so that they, they still know that there's something there. And... Uh, uh, and we'll see if they run through it, but uh, I, I've just cut up a potato chip bag. I, I find every year I find some kind of mylar package that I can recycle for this purpose, so I never buy any. Um, it seems very, uh, very weak, and it'll tear in half while you're trying to tie a knot in it. But uh, amazingly enough, once you actually get it tied onto the fence, it, it'll, it stays there the whole season. Uh, so you can kind of see where I have these. And this keeps, you know, people from walking through it too. Now, I don't have a lot of children running around. Uh, but um, with them, um, I, I don't know what we would do to keep them out. Uh, but uh, uh, anyway, so that's, we're done for the day. And uh, you can hear the... Uh, the birds are starting to make their noises, and uh, I've got my fence up now. So um, tomorrow um, I'll start planting my my okra. I think I'm going to put it where those onions are growing, just along that that row there. There's not a lot of grass, so I can still mow along the edge of it until it gets high enough up that I can put uh, cardboard down around it. My goal is to eventually cover my whole garden uh, with a permanent mulch, and the car cardboard is the first step in that direction. So, uh, uh, all right, just wanted you to know about my deer fencing. Thanks a bunch. Have a great night.